Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to update your slideshow or your images here um, so that they fit nicely not only in the mobile view but in the desktop view too. So obviously I uploaded these pictures to this page that I manage and then when I pulled it up on my phone I noticed that um, that it looked something like this. So you see the second slide is cut off. And so um, even though it looked great up here, which let me go back to that middle slide, the answer is simple. It has the three different levels of what's to be expected. Um, so I've already resized the first and the third slide, but as you can see in my second slide, I haven't resized yet. So I thought I would go ahead and create a video that shows how to do this easily. Okay, so and for free. So if you use Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com, you can just open an image, um, and this is free. You don't even have to download it to your local machine unless you want to. And um, the image that I need to edit is here. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new one. Okay, so this it looks great again in the um, in desktop, but in mobile it's being cut off about here, and then it's also cutting off over here. So the trick is we simply need to make the canvas taller. So in order to get the measurements, you're going to say uh, Facebook cover, yeah, photo size for mobile and desktop. You can just jot this down if you don't want to also Google it. But essentially, it shows that it displays at 820 by 320. Um, and we want to make it taller by about 75 pixels um, so that it will work in mobile. Here we go. This is actually the one that I was looking for. So the secret is you keep it at the 828 wide, but you increase your canvas size to 465. So I don't already have mine sized at the 828 by 315, so first I'm going to do that. So first I'm going to resize the image. So click on this layout, and you'll see there's a difference between resizing the image and resizing the canvas. So if I told it to resize the canvas, it would cut off some of the information. So first I'm going to resize it. Um, and I believe it was 828, and that's okay if that's not exact there. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So now it is the right width, and it looks small, and that can be scary, but don't worry, it's actually not that small. So then I'm going to go to canvas resize, and I have the right width, but I need to increase this. I believe it was to 465. I would just do it right from the center. If you know you want more white space on top or bottom, left or right, you can choose one of these different positions. But I'm just going to keep it right there and click Apply. So now do you see, you can barely see it, but this is just kind of um, a transparent gradient by default. So um, I'm just going to click Save. And I'm going to save Image to Mobile. I'm giving it a different name. Before I did click JPEG, um, and it just looked too fuzzy. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it as a ping. If you know that people have a really slow internet connection, you could do it as a JPEG because it's only 53 kilobytes. As a ping, it's double that, right? 103. I'm going to keep it as a ping. I've got the right uh, sizing here. I'm going to download. That automatically goes to my downloads folder. So now I'm going to come back here. And, um, well, right now I'm just logged in as a, as a regular person, not the manager of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and um, switch over to my, <sighs> let's go to, the, go to the page itself, Natural Nutritional Products. Now I'm up here again, and I'm going to edit. Make sure you tell it Edit Slideshow, because I do have a slideshow. I have three different things here. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to upload a new photo from my downloads folder. And it'll be the, um, I believe we called it image 2.mobile. So here it is. 
And if I need to, I can drag and reposition it. I know this isn't this is a very text heavy image. It's not so pretty to look at, but I'm going to put this as the second one. And then that'll be the third one. I'm going to click Save Changes. And now I can click here. Still looks great. So the, the real proof is if it looks good in mobile. So I can come to my settings. Oops, I'm sorry, not my settings. I'm over here in Chrome. I can come to More Tools, Developer Tools. And then I can see what the page looks like and that looks good there and hopefully it'll let me oops yay oh wait a minute. there we go yay so that looks good um this isn't always perfect it's a little wonky this tool i've got a you know iphone different sizes you can select looks like it should work if you're not 100 percent sure of course just check in your cell phone itself so what I'm doing is opening this up in my cell phone and I'm gonna, um, it looks great. I'm gonna now take a screenshot and I'm gonna send it to myself. Oops, um, send it to my, airdrop it to my uh, laptop here. And hopefully that shows up. Where does the airdrop come into? Bump, 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 bump. Uh. Airdrop. Up. Okay. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and airdrop this to my machine. Please work. Oh, okay, here it is right here. So you can see, the answer is simple. It's got the whole screenshot in there. Yay! So now it looks great in both mobile and desktop. And that's the end. Thanks for watching!